Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan East. For those of you who are new to the channel, or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today is November 30th, the last day of November before we hit December, which is insane. Like, 2019 is over and the roaring 20s are getting ready to happen again. Like, insane to me. But I'm here to do my book haul with you guys. This is going to be my November book haul. And this month, there was not a lot of books, shockingly. Um, At least, I didn't have a lot of Christian books. I did have a lot of, like, non-Christian books because we love fantasy books but um i do have a few other books still coming in the mail so those will just be included into my december book haul but um yeah not a lot so i'm gonna start off with b and h books then go into the other review books that i got and then we yeah that's it yeah wow okay so starting off with b and h kids i got two things from b and h kids um well two items but two of the same of one so I have three books if that makes sense so the first thing I have here is a slugs bugs this is by Randall good game illustrated by Joe Sekpin it's the society of extra extraordinary raccoon society on boasting um, last month I hauled the other one which I actually have all of them here so let me grab them so last month I hauled this one um, and then this month they had the other one so now my son has all four of the books are you seeing it yeah so he has all four and um he loves these books so much they're really really fun really creative and um, we do read these for homework he um loves looking at the pictures and the scriptures and everything like that they're really great books to um teach your kids about scripture and they make it fun for children so if you can get your hands on these definitely do um but yeah randall good game his books are really good and i hope they come out with more in this kind of like slugs bug series because they're actually really funny and adorable to read so we have that as the first book Next, we have a uh, devotional, which is for kids. I got one for myself, and then um, I got one for my son. So, like, one was sent for review, and then I actually went and purchased one for myself because I really do enjoy this um, kind of series. And it's from Epic. It is their one big story kind of line. I'm not sure what the line is called. I just call it Epic because that's what the Bible is called. So, um, it's the Epic Devotions. It's 52 devotions. Yeah, 52 weeks, excuse me. And... The story that changed the world. It's one big story. It's from B&H Kids. This goes exactly with the epic comic Bible. Um, this is kind of like a younger version of a graphic novel for children on the Bible. It looks like that. It's really fun. It's a storybook graphic novel kind of thing situation. And they came out now with the devotional that goes with it. So these two are mine um, because I had to have my own copies outside of my son's. I will have reviews on these coming because I think they're really fun and cool to check out. But like I said, I do have two copies. So one for my son and one for me. But again, it's the 52 Weeks Epic Devotions. And it just says, let the story that changed the world change your life too. This graphic novel inspired devotional builds on biblical stories from the book Epic, the story that changed the world, adding life application questions and devotional thoughts that point readers to Jesus and challenge them to live in the light of the gospel. Each week, kids ages 8 to 12 can engage with a story that changed the world, letting its great hero change them as well. And um, I'm not sure if it's the same illustrator yes yeah, same illustrator same writer aaron armstrong and heath mcpherson so yeah i'm super stoked and pretty much they look kind of like the actual graphic novel so that's pretty cool and they focus on a scripture and um yeah i'm excited to dive in this, to, into this for myself with my son soon so we have that okay so following that i got this but i have three copies so i got one for review and then i got one for a giveaway and then i purchased I, okay so i got one for review basically and then it sounded really good so i ended up purchasing two hopefully that makes sense so i have three copies of the same book one for review and then two that i purchased i purchased one as a gift for my mother um she's literally in the room next door so it's gonna go in her christmas gift i got some stuff for her so i'm putting that together so i got one for her one to give away and one for myself okay so i purchased two and then i got one for review and that's going to be women of courage a 40-day devotional from the encourage community and um encourage is just a well-known community they, they do have the encourage devotional bible i think it is um but this is their little devotional on women of the bible and um you have 
don't know what happened, but you have women of beautiful brokenness, women better together, women of daily grace, women of leadership, women of friendship, women of hope, women of hospitality, women of gratitude, women of second chances, and women of bravery. And some of the women include Naomi, of course, the Samaritan woman, Leah, the Canaanite woman, um, the widow of Nain, the persistent widow, Bathsheba, Rahab, daughters of Zelophed, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, Priscilla, Lydia, Lois, and Eunice, Deborah, Dorcas, Ruth, Elizabeth, Mary Magdalene, Queen of Sheba, Naaman's servants, um, Sarah, Martha, Hagar, Anna, the bleeding woman, Mary, sister of Lazarus, the Shun Shunammite woman, Esther, Rebecca, widow of Zarephath, Zarephath, I think I say that, say that, Miriam, Simon's mother-in-law, um, you have Eve, the woman caught in adultery, the woman, the mother of Samson, Gomer, Hannah, and Abigail. So there are quite a few women in here, and I like how short they are. So pretty much you get a page of information or devotional, pretty much two to three pages of a devotional, and then towards the end you get a prayer, which is great. Um, so yeah, I like I said, I have one to give away. One for myself and one for my mother. So, that's that. Um, and here are the other two copies. So, me and my mother's and then giveaway copy. So, yeah. The next one is going to be from Baker Books. And that is the 40 Day Sugar Fast by Wendy Speak. It's where physical detox meets spiritual transformation. And um, I normally don't get books like this um, that has to do with like detoxing. But it sounded really good. Um how the physical and the spiritual meet through detoxing so i thought it would be great um it says would you give up sugar to experience the sweet presence of god in your life it says stop fixating on food and fix your eyes on christ pinpoint the triggers that send you running to sugar lose weight as you gain faith turn to the most high instead of the next sugar high um i don't deal with any type of like weight gains i'm trying to gain weight so this is definitely not like something that i should be reading but it sounded interesting and um i don't know it just intrigued me just with the tagline alone um i don't i don't honestly i don't know why i requested it um it it just sounded like it was going to be good um so yeah so some of the titles are taste and see return to me trusting god with the battle armor up a holy hunger that actually sounds good interesting a holy hunger hmm. um comfort foods and retail therapy stumbling blocks praying for healing uh two masters the kind of fasting god wants and um spiritual mental clarity basically it's all about detoxing but also fasting and for me i'm trying to really hone in on fasting um for myself to better myself not for like weight problems or anything like that just for spiritual reasons and um i figured it would give me some type of insight if i don't find it too helpful i will end up giving this away to someone but um i couldn't pass up on the the cover it was so cute there's like an ice cream cone but there's a flower inside of the ice cream cone super cute okay so moving on to my fictional novels all of these were sent to me for review for instagram tours blog tours or whatever the case may be so i didn't pay for any of these um and i really do truly thank the publishing companies and the authors themselves for sending it to me so the first book we're going to get into is more of a contemporary romance and it is clean it's from harlequin's love inspired line and it's her cowboy till christmas by jill camera i don't i'm always saying this wrong oh my gosh there we go. This is signed by the author to me, which I think is awesome. I love it. Um, just thank you for helping me spread the word about my book, Bless You, and that she signed it. Um, she also sent me her business card as well as a bookmark. The bookmark says, Shush, reading is in progress, love, humor, and faith. And then it just has her social media handle and information on the back. But um, this is a second chance romance. So I'm going to read quickly what the back of it says. She's only home for the holidays. Can he convince her to stay? The last person rancher Mason Fanning ever expects to see again is the girl who once broke his heart. Brittany Green is in town for Christmas and trying to convince her ailing grandmother, the only maternal figure the widower's little boy has left, to move away. Can Mason show her all she really needs to fulfill her dreams is right here in Wyoming. And it's a part of the Wyoming Sweetheart series. So I'm excited for this book 
here. The next book is going to be Contemporary, and it is The Camera Never Lies by David Rowlings. He did write The Bag of Chandler, which I hauled a few a few months ago, um, which is also another contemporary. This one follows a married couple with their daughter. They're going through hardships, and the husband, every time he takes a photo, this camera reveals something devastating about them. So I'm interested to see where this goes. It sounds like it's going to be real gripping, real heart-wrenching, and everything in between. And I just, I love the colors on this cover gorgeous just epic gorgeous and um did this one get signed no this one did not get signed it's from thomas nelson now and um it said what would you do if your secrets were revealed to those around you daniel kelly and millie appear to be the perfect family but an old camera will expose secrets no one once developed Daniel Whitley is a successful marriage counselor and best-selling author, yet his own marriage is in crisis and his daughter is drifting further away each day. To make matters worse, the deadline for his second book has come and gone, and he still hasn't written a single word. When Daniel inherits an old camera from his grandfather, he notices an inscription on the bottom. No matter what you think you might see, the camera never lies. Daniel begins using the camera, but every time he develops his photos, they threaten to reveal secrets that could sabotage both his marriage and his career and destroying the life he has worked so hard to build. He's faced with the choice, keep his secrets and save his career or come clean and possibly save his family. Which will he choose? Which would you choose? So it really sounds like a suspense kind of family drama and I'm here for it. So we have that. The next book we have is The Dating Charade by Melissa Ferguson. It says, just when you think you've met your match. And this cover is like everything. I got this for an Instagram takeover tour. This book comes out December 3rd. Um, and I don't remember much off the top of my head, but I know that this follows a woman named Cassie and a guy named Jet. And um, they do a lot of like online dating, I think. And then they finally meet each other hit it off and when things go great they each go home but each have three children dropped on their doorstep that's what i can remember but i'm going to quickly read the back of the book for you guys just when you think you've met your match the charade begins cassie everson is an expert at escaping bad first dates and after years of meeting greeting and running from the men who tried to woo her cassie is almost ready to retire her hopes for her husband and children altogether but fate has other plans and cassie's online dating profile catches the eye of firefighter jet bentley in jet's memory cassie everson is the unreachable girl of legend from their high school days nervously he messages her setting off a chain of events that forces a reluctant cassie back into the dating game no one is more surprised than cassie when her first date with jet is a knockout but when they both go home and find three children dropped in their laps each they independently decide to do the right and mature thing. Hide the kids from each other while sorting it all out. What could go wrong? Melissa Ferguson's hilarious and warm-hearted debut reminds us that love can come in very small packages and that sometimes our best laid plans aren't nearly as rewarding and fun as the surprises that come our way. So it sounds like it's a mix of a second chance romance with some family drama. So I'm interested to see where these kids come from. Because if I'm not mistaken, it says three kids each. That's six kids in a relationship. Like, where do these kids come from? Like, did Cassie have a sister? Did Jet mysteriously have kids? Like, we don't know. So I'm interested to dive into this. And this cover, again, is so cute. There we go. The next book I already read which uh, you'll see in my wrap-up, but it's The Piper's Pursuit by Melanie Dickerson. This is the 10th book in the Hagenheim series, which is a YA historical fiction reimagining series of fairy tales. And this one is on the Pied Piper, and I totally enjoyed this. This one included Stefan from book nine, which was The Warrior Maiden, which is about Wolfgang and Mulan, and I totally love this book. This book was so cute and adorable. I think I gave this a four-star rating, but um, I'll talk about it in my wrap-up. Anyways, we have this lovely book, and I love the cover. So, so pretty. Okay, and the last book I got, another copy of this book. I think I showed both of these books in my October, and I ended up with a third copy. So I'm going to show them all three again, because I was accepted into different programs for this this um book. So I got one from the publishing company directly. I work with them um, doing book reviews and then I got one for an Instagram tour and then another kind of blog tour company sent me another copy so I ended up with a third copy and that's going to be the end of the Magi so this is the copy that I read and enjoyed and I literally one two three I have three copies of this book I don't need three copies I, I really don't I, I, I don't 
and um i love this book i'm gonna talk about it when i wrap up you can see that next but um well i got three copies you guys three please explain so yeah i'm gonna be giving these two away um soon so um but yeah if you guys don't know what this is a story about this is a story of the magi who bought the gifts to baby jesus when he was born and it basically gives them a beginning and an end story and i enjoyed it it follows the young um magi acolyte whose name is myrad and his journey with just becoming a true magi or magi or magus or whatever it's called i don't really know but um i enjoyed it this is definitely one of those books that takes you on a journey um this is actually going to be the book club pick for the biblical fiction buffs book club hosted by jenna van Mauert. if you guys don't know what i'm talking about just click the on the screen to go to my announcement video or you can just click the on the screen to go to her channel but um yes we're reading this book which i already technically read but i'm stoked to be reading this again i'm not gonna fully read it just because i literally just read it but um as they're discussing it i will have my points because i read tabbed it up wrote in it and all that great stuff so yeah but that is it, you guys, for my November book haul. Really short, really great. I'm here for it. And um, I'm not sure if December is going to be as hectic. Hopefully it's not. It's going to be, like, the same amount of books. We're going to keep it low. But, um, yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, for thumbsing up the video. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to the family. I love all of my viewers, my sisters, my gems is what I call them. And if you are subscribed, click the bell to stay notified. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.